Hello again. It's me. My third video for the day. This is a guest design team project I did for um, Scattered Pictures Art on Etsy. It's a Paris um, 1900s Paris journaling kit. And I cut this off so you all could see and go to her Etsy shop and get this kit because it is so pretty. Um, only thing I messed up is I did, I forgot to print out one page, which I'm really bummed about and can't print it out right now, but I will have to print it out and put it in here. But it's the page with all these really, I put it up on my phone so y'all could see because they got some pretty pictures. What am I thinking? How can I skip and not even see this is beyond me. I don't even know, but that's the page I missed and for, didn't get to print out to put into this journal. But yeah, it is so pretty and y'all need to go check her out. She's got some amazing things over there. And yeah, this front cover is not part of the kit. I was rummaging through my stuff looking for things to work in this book with and came across this little tablet that my friend gave me and it was the cover of this tablet she got at either a dollar store or dollar spot and this is the back cover so I'm probably going to use the back cover too and the paper inside but yeah. And so never throw away your covers on your little dollar store finds because you can use them eventually in your journaling. That's what I did. I used the front of it for this. I backed it with um, black cardstock, sewed around it, and put some book covers on. I love it. I think it's gorgeous. I hid. I put the spine on after I sewed the signatures in so you wouldn't see them. And this paper Trina found at Hobby Lobby. And I don't have the tablet to show you because she just gave me some. And I thought it went perfect with this kit. So, yeah, that's what I did. It's a hardback cover. Well, actually, it's a cereal box. Ah, well, I'm lying again. It's stovetop. Oh my goodness. I use cereal boxes, stovetop boxes, hamburger helper, whatever I have in my cupboard. I'll go rip the stuff out of it and use it. If I don't have the right size, I will just take it right out of my cupboard. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I did with this one. It's got seam binding closures. And sorry about these ugly things on my fingers, but I've already done a couple videos and my hands hurt. So just ignore these things and my nappy fingers because I just got done doing a couple more covers, getting them ready for my next journals I have to do. And that's why my hands look like this. And I did it last night. <laughs> Go figure. I've washed my hands a million times. Okay, these came from Butterbee Scraps, I believe it is. These little corners right here. And inside, ta-da, is this amazing kit. Pretty, pretty. I love these colors. The tabs are all made out of this part is Hobby Lobby trim. And this came from Michael's. It is a roll. It is this. Beautiful, beautiful, beautifulness. Let me see. I'll go like this so you all can see. And if you want to go get some, because it's gorgeous. It also comes in this, which is even just as gorgeous. Love it. But this one can't kind of goes with this theme I got going on. And let's see. I tried to use only, well, there's Tim Holtz and then there's the kit in here. And I'll point out what comes with the kit. And is this little cute little tiny and I couldn't get myself to cut it apart because I thought it was cute that way. Oh, the inside of this is just random paper out of my stash. And I just thought it kind of went with the theme. And file folder tag and just a, oh my goodness. It's just an index card I folded in half and punched the corners using this punch. 
and I just stuck that right there and yeah isn't that pretty I love the burgundy I haven't really done burgundy there's three signatures in here and over here is paper Trina gave me that I used on the outside. I used pieces of it throughout so I can use make pockets. And I sewed around. Most of the pockets are sewn around. And this is part of the kit. I think it's gorgeous. Just a tag I made out of some stuff in my stash. And these come with the kit. Some little stamps and this little dress form super super cute I love it over here I made a little snippet pocket and this all comes out I just love the snippets with some buttons and this one is Tim Holtz out of one of his ephemera packs which is layering this one right here this is comes with a whole bunch of well, 32 pieces of ephemera. <laughs> and and it, these are the kits. Isn't those cute? These are like, I just cut them out like little stamps. I think they're so darn cute. And in here I used some of these little photo mat things that I got at Staples. And I put some of that beautiful paper Trina gave me in there. And... Over here, it's just a tag. Yesterday, this was so easy. Okay. This is just a tag I made out of some of the gardening magazine. I just love that flower, so I cut it into a shape of a tag. And these other cards can be taken out as well. It's not really that difficult. Really, it isn't. Here, I'm going to try to do without that. Okay. And this is part of Daphne Diary Magazine. Just love that page, so I thought it went with this kit, so I put it in here. This is out of some old books that my friend gave me, some old advertisement. Everything's coffee dyed. And this is some France stamps out of my really old stamp mag or book, which I got at Goodwill. And it's already coffee dyed looking, so I didn't even touch it. It's so pretty. Part of the kit right here. So is this pocket. Is that not gorgeous? Oh, I sewed around all the pockets. I love that. And I stuck this lady in there. She is Tsunami Rose. This is Artie And Tsunami Rose and Artie Mays. <laughs> I just layered some ephemera in this pocket. Love that pocket. This letter came with the kit. And I folded some. It comes with like eight or how many pages? I think five, six pages. I don't know what it says because it's in a different language. But I love it. And so some of my used as pages in the kit in here. And some I folded up as letters and stuck in here. And this little bag, this is a tuck spot right here. This comes with the kit. And inside are these two. And this folds out. Um, the envelope that comes in it, there's nothing in there. I just put this little Tsunami Rose flower on there. And I actually put this in upside down. <laughs> Yeah, sure did. Supposed to look like this. But she looks like this. <laughs> so I covered her up with this Tiffany stamp card. And this comes with the kit. And I stuck that little guy behind there. So you don't even know she's upside down. <laughs> and this is part of Tim Holtz ephemera. Some fabric washi. And this little stamp comes with the kit, and this is Tim Holtz ephemera. And I'm gonna do like that. Oh, that's so pretty. The kit, the stamp paper. This is part of the beautiful kit. Comes with like four or five of these. I don't know. I'm I'm fibbing. I don't even know how many stamps it came with because I cut them all out and just used them up. Love it. But they're so cute. 
Over here is some Tim Holtz stuck in there, and this is one of the letters it comes with. I think it's so cool. Love letters. Don't know what it says, but I love to fold things up as letters and stick them in things. And I just paper clip that on. This is part of my old magazine. It slips out. Part of the kit. And this beautifulness is the kit. And then there's Tim Holtz. This is sewed around. Daphne Diary. Is that not gorgeous too? Oh my goodness. And here is another one of those little photo sleeves that I just put a photo mat in and thought that was gorgeous. I'll have to ask Trina where, what paper. I, did, I should have took a picture of the tablet, but Trina gave me this paper. So it's new to me and I love it. And there we go. So unless it's not the kit, I'll tell you if it's not the kit. So I don't have to keep saying the kit, the kit because I know y'all probably get sick of that. Tsunami Rose. And look at this cute, tiny little envelope. Oh my goodness. I just used my decorative scissors and cut it open. Isn't that cute? Oh my goodness, I love it. I'm trying to catch up on all my projects I'm supposed to be doing. I feel so bad, it takes me so long sometimes. And when I get going, then I try to do them all at once so I can get them out. Tim Holtz, Tsunami Rose, and this is the beautiful card. I love it. I guess it goes this way, Paula. <laughs> so pretty. Little Tim Holtz right there. Look at that little dress form. So cute. A ticket time, or tag I made. Another one of the letters. And that ticket came with it as well. This is another one of the letters. Wish I knew how to read it. But I don't. And I don't even care because I love it. <laughs> okay, get in there. What I don't love is my groovy hands. I don't go in there a little further than that, but I'm not going to force it right now. Daphne's Diary, a little tip-in fabric flower I did myself, and it just flips up. So pretty. These are vintage fabric right there. It's so fragile. It rips really easy because no one is really old because it rips so easy. Okay, and here is a little floating wallpaper envelope like um, Emily Bloom was making. I love this idea. It's so smart. It feels, it's, the texture is so cool. And I just thought this was so pretty. I just put a coffee dye tag inside there. She can move that about the book. Some more stamping. or stamp pages. This was an, um card like this, a journaling card, but I cut it because I wanted to make a pocket out of it. I actually made two pockets out of it in this book. And an index card. And this is another little tiny envelope. Isn't that so pretty? Oh my gosh, I love it. Another one of those letters. And here are some tickets that came with the it, and I made a belly band out of it. Tsunami Rose and another journal tag. Five folder tag. Isn't that cute? Oh my goodness. I love it. I love it. Oopsie, they're going to fall out. And here's a little bag I got from um, Denise's shop. And I just put a little snippet right there. It flips out. Inside is just a belong, this book belongs to tag, and all of this is Artie Mays. Got to put some kind of B in here, love it. And then these are all the kit, and they're so cute. I just wanted to put a bunch in here, so and there we go. Let's see, get in there. 
like that. Pocket, so pretty. This is out of that paper pa pack I've been using a lot of. I just thought it went with this. Um, Ephemera's Vintage Garden, backed with coffee dyed paper, and Graphic 45 I found in my stash. That. Um, I decoupage some of the of this onto the napkin match it. <sighs> Artie Mays, I think. Tim Holtz. And this is the kit. Both of these are. This is a big map and I cut it in half and made some journaling cards out of it. That's what I did with that. Stuck them in that little photo sleeve. A little snippet that I made with some danglies. I guess you can't see it. Oh, lift it up. I just think that was so cute. I hope I've been in frame this whole time. Good grief. Charlie Brown. Sorry if I haven't been. And over here is another pocket out of that beautiful paper that Trina gave me and one of my snippets. Dreams Accept Us. And it's just Tim Holtz while she taped in so it flips out. And this one's actually right side up, I believe. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ooh, nothing in there. That's the middle of the signature. Another little fabric tipping with the flower I made. It flips up. You can write underneath it. And so cute. Over here is um, Artie Tim Holtz and a little tag I made. And here's the other side of that map. And this is part of the kit. Get in there. All the bags flip out. I sewed them all in. And over here is the other side of that card that I cut. And there's another pocket. Another wallpaper floating envelope. And I made I love those. And I have a lot of wallpaper, so I want to use them up. Love this tag, too. You know me, I love everything. Another photo sleeve with some gorgeous paper inside. And a pocket. Another one of those doc or letters. The flower is Tsunami Rose. And these are both the kit. Love Paris. Paris. Okay, back here. Oh, goodness, come here. Um, these little hearts that come with the kit, I just um, put them there and made a little tuck spot for these. Tim Holtz and Artie Main. And just a little tag I made for myself. And I put those there. And that is my guest design team project for Scattered Pictures Art. I hope you all go on over there and check her out because she has some beautiful kits over there. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and sticking with me, even though my videos are not the best right now. But yeah, I even have one more to go. Do you believe it? I saved them up all for one time. Um, don't forget to subscribe and have a great day. Bye-bye.